Hello, I'm Cincinnati Man, and I'm here to talk about Season 7, Episode 10 of Love is Blind, titled Text from My Ex. Now, um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, excuse me. Text from an ex. I kept on messing that up when I was watching it. I was like, text my ex, ex, whatever. Um, let's get right into this. Uh, I'll do it this way. Ramsey, Marissa, this ain't working, but it's more like he's going to let her stop it. He'll just go through with it. But there's so many major problems that were never solved. It's more just like passive aggressive conversations about it. And then she changes like she's like, I don't want to pressure you. I don't want to, you know, put too much on your, your. Let's not forget the red flag of her being like, instead of three to five years having a kid, she was like, well, if you don't have a con, hey, I, can, I mean, we got baby sooner. She just shrugged. It went from three to five years to, hey, whatever. That's not good. That's not good. If that's it, totally not in his agreement, um, he is the type of person that apparently needs constant affection, a lot or a lot more affection than she was willing to give. And unfortunately, what was sad is she's on her period and she's feeling the hormone and all this stuff, and he didn't get it. He was like, eh, you know, I just, you know, you really haven't been like that, you know, and sex, and sex, and sex. I'm like, what happened to this progressive male? Hmm. Hmm, all of a side, all of a side. Anyway, um, I, I don't. Tim and Alex, I, I, in, in, when I was watching it, I watch it on YouTube as well. I am Cincinnati man. Check it out. Um, watch it. Come on, come on, watch it with me. Um, uh, Tim and Alex, I, you know, I was, I was, it was, I was clapping like, okay, like, um. Uh, Alex and his mom was talking and the guys just sat there quietly. Let, let the women sit, you know, have a conversation, you know, you know, mom, to f- potential, uh, uh, daughter-in-law. And then later Tim was like, done. He's like, I'm done with this. And Tim is passive aggressive also. And Tim, there's a lot of like shaky people emotionally that like ov- over stuff. You're like, wait a minute, you know, if you told her certain things to do and she didn't do it, you should have told her right then and there, like, hey, I need help with the dishes. You know, not this, you didn't do the dishes two days ago. And I, I didn't like that. And it showed me what kind of woman you are. It's like, yo, wait, man, hold up. You didn't text me most of the day. She's like, well, you, you were at work and I didn't want to text that much because you're at work and I'm working. Well, that ain't good enough. And you, and, and you know, I'm a phone person and I'll try to read it, but you didn't care. And he was just looking at her like, I don't ever want to see the rest of my life. And it was like, it was so harsh how he was talking. It makes me question that conversation when he was like, you demeaned me. You made me feel less of a man when, when it was back in Mexico. I'm like, brother, what you just did sound like payback for what happened in Mexico. Y'all feel me? Some, nah, I'm glad. I was like, when he, when he said, I don't ever want to see you again. Okay, she's pretty. She can, she, and she can work on being, she, everything that he had a problem with was, was you could, you're able to work on. Okay. Um, Nick and Hannah. Last review, I was like, I'm Team Hannah. I still am, but Hannah, in life, you can't always teach people by being really tough on her, tough on them. And she admitted when they all had that group meet that she's so hard on him because of how hard she is on herself. And Ashley said it correctly: you need to learn to bring the happy Hannah out. And what killed me was Hannah was like, I want deep conversations. You want deep conversations that look, every time he points something out, you'd be like, well, you did this. And it's like, he has to, he has to bring up his seriousness in being more aware of things that need to get done. And she needs to bring down her intensity to be more kinder of a person when explaining stuff and, and leading him to, to grow. Um, so, you know, and it's funny how, she was mad at Kate, but if she replayed the tape, Kate said everything great. So she okay. To apo- Hannah, I apologize about last episode. Hannah, you need to apologize to Kate. And Kate, goodness. Woo. This ain't about her anyway. Woof. Hate the Ravens. Go Bengals. Okay. Anyway. Um, Tyler and Ashley. Um, I was mad we didn't get no explanation of how he had a bunch, had a few kids and everything, and then it went down later and it was explained that he was a donor and all of that stuff. That ain't that bad. That is bad. You know, 
it is it okay okay it i would say this it it could be possibly grounds to break up i understand that i it, potentially now if and if he was in their lives and stuff like that it'd be different but when she's like you know what they, they what you look like you know, i don't think so you know you gotta be concrete with that brother that that you got babies running around. but she's willing to continue but they really love each other and that I understand, like ba- the baby thing. That's a thing. It's like, wait, what else are you hiding? Now let's get to it. Taylor and Garrett. Taylor, he didn't explain it right. I will agree. But he literally responded to that person. Have a nice life. Um, I can't. We can't communicate like this. He ended it right there, damn near immediately. He was nervous to talk about it, so he misspoke. And now she's like, I can't trust anything about you. You got a text from your ex, and you said you just liked it and liked it, liked what she said and ignored it. And then now you now you're amongst everybody else and be like, yo, well, yeah, I, I liked it. And I told her, um, hey, thanks, but I didn't tell you this, but I have a fiance. Um, uh, have a nice life. We can't communicate. You text her back and you said you didn't say that. And it was like he should have told you that i agree he made a mistake there but he did the right thing overall by telling the person hey we cannot have any more conversations so unless there's something in the next episode to show how bad he is as a person the idea that she's willing to throw all of it away over a text that he misspoke but he responded the right way you know, some people petty, like, he shouldn't respond to it at all. He should just leave the block, but whatever. You know what I mean. If somebody that you used to date approach you and start talking in part, you'd be like, no, thank you. He did that. And let, like I said, unless we're going to find out something else. But if she willing to throw it all away, and he was willing to move across to your family, across from, from outside of D.C. all the way to where? San Diego. He's willing to give up his businesses, and you're willing to tell her you're willing to throw it away because he liked a text from his ex and literally said in the text, thanks, uh, we cannot speak anymore. That's some wild stuff. And my thing is, the same thing how Tim went nuclear, she's going nuclear. If you're going to do that, I'll let you go. You know, I've never been nearly this close to relationships like this with somebody. I remember a girl... I dated, we dated for a little bit. We, date, we didn't even date that long, but she lived 30, 40 minutes away from me. So I would text her, good morning. Good morning. Hope you have a nice day. After the third or fourth day of that, I'm tired of you saying good morning to me. I ain't talked to her no more. You're blowing up at a good morning text. You know, I I got plenty of stories, but anyway, yeah, that's what, it kind of reminded me of that. Like, oh, ugh, like, like, oh, um, how should I say this? The last, the last, the last little bit. Um, they really put Nick through the ringer on this episode, and he is growing, he is learning. But Nick, that I, I don't want to cuss or really cuss or nothing on this. But Nick, the idea that I have, I'm not a perfect man. But I've never understood and saddened that there's men that just don't want to satisfy a woman and just get there to be done. And that's what she said. Yeah, he just gets his, he's done. I'm like, how do you just lay there and let somebody just be there? You know, you know they didn't get done. And then on top of that, he don't want to go. There are men out there that do not want to go uh, go below. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I've known people. I've had conversations with men. They look at like, I would never do that. And you're like, but you want to, want them to go down? Yeah. And it's like, What's wrong with pleasuring someone you love? I don't edit. Just like when Tim talked about, I'm not a cuddler. She wants me to cuddle. And his mom, his Tim's mom was like, uh, son, you're, you're going to have to adjust. Like, it's a cuddle. It's the. But yet, these emotionally shut off people get all these chances in, these, in this world. I'm going to stop. My best friend Amber's gonna watch this and she's gonna make a comment on YouTube like, you're projecting, you're projecting. I was like, yes, I am. So anyway, 
I'm Cincinnati man. Take care. This was some. Two of the four couples ain't getting married on the next episode. I'm calling it right here. Have a good one.